Hi! It is now day five of our incredible film journey to making the film The Executioner. Yesterday we got done with set one, which was very nice, and now we're on to set two, which is just a hallway, but it is still needed for the scene to make it feel a bit longer and not just they break into the main room and then right into the gem room and that's it. I figured adding a few seconds of video footage in between the first room and the gem room would make it feel a bit longer and not so rushed, to say it simply. So pretty much what they're doing, I think Eric is gonna come through, kick the door open, do some kind of roll or a flip. He's gonna scope out the room, make sure it's okay. He runs, and then Anne will follow right behind him. Now, this is a tight set, but we're gonna have to make it work because it looks great on camera. Okay, here we go. Another thrilling hour or two of stop motion. I'll see you on the other side. A few moments later. I just made a really bad mistake. I recently sold my camera to get more money for college, and so I was left with my iPhone to make these videos. And the iPhone can do it, it's got good quality. Just not when you hook it up to Dragon Frame. Anyway, I've been using the app Stop Motion Studio, and in that app you can set your frame rate to however much you want it. However, it defaults to 5 frames per second, and I shot that entire last clip at 5 frames per second. Now how did I make that mistake? Because the app doesn't have a very good playback speed, it's very choppy and like it pauses all the time, and so I just assumed that's all it was. <laughs> but no. No it wasn't. Here, check out the clip for yourself. So here's the deal. I think I'm just gonna keep it because we don't have enough time to go back and film it again. I mean, at least the animation is not choppy. I am gonna try to fix it with the next clip though. If I make the next clip slower, it'll slow down the energy we got from the first clip and hopefully that'll fix it. Okay, I'm going at it again. I'm not gonna lie, this clip took so long to complete because of the crazy pose I had him in. I don't know martial arts, you can't judge me for not knowing how to make him pose. That's honestly a really cool thing about LEGO is that you can make them do whatever you want them to do. Like seriously, it's amazing what you can make a minifigure look like he's doing. If you don't believe me, just go check out Instagram. They have tons of LEGO photographers that can get these minifigures in positions you wouldn't believe. Anyway, the second clip is done. Yeah, I think that helped it a lot. So the problem is, is that I don't want a clip to look choppy. So I went ahead and played it at 12 frames per second, the first clip. And then the second clip, I slowed it down a bit. Still at 12 frames per second, but I made the animation slower on purpose. So he looks around a little slow and then takes off running and she follows behind him. I want this film to be good, but we have a deadline. And unfortunately, it looks like we're already behind. So while we can't go back and film these clips again, because that would take too long, we can make the next clips better. Okay, I'm going to start working on the next set and some animation. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.